Hello again, SG Beers. I'm Companion Wolf. Welcome to another Smile Game Builder tutorial. This tutorial was meant to be the conclusion of the chess tutorial, however, preparation for it and what I'd intended for it has taken a bit longer than I thought it would. I won't go into it too, too much detail. Suffice to say that some of those things didn't quite work the way they should have, and others require some more lateral thinking for creating them within SGB's current parameters. So I've dedicated this tutorial to animating pictures with SGB instead. I'll continue working on the chess and tutorials on and off and revisit it sometime later. Also sometime this week, depending on my work schedule, I'll do a quick play test for the chess tutorial thus far so you can see how everything fits together. Before starting, I'd like to note that tutorials and updates may be sporadic over the next few months because I'm dedicating most of my days off to looking for a new job. My current one has become a huge anathema, so it's time to move on and away from its, shall we say, negatively impacting influences. I'll certainly try to upload regular contact content, but I wanted to give you guys fair warning that it might not be the case, at least for a few months yet. You might have already seen the animated experiments I did for SGB, especially if you've been following my Facebook account, and the method for doing that is very simple, something that can be used for a plethora of different things. Since SGB doesn't support GIFs, you have to kind of create one on your own within SGB. I created a simple six frame animation sequence in GIMP. I won't go into the details on how to do that, but one important thing I do need to mention um, is when you're exporting images um, you need to make sure that interlacing Adam 7 is unchecked when, when you're exporting for use in SGB otherwise it'll be corrupted in SGB I'm not sure what types of interlacing other graphics programs use, but it's something to be aware of if images end up like messed up or corrupted or something after importing them back into SGB. So, add assets, game images, and then the images, and then you add them and import them as I have done here. You probably won't see the animation sequence here because it is quite subtle. Uh, right, so we set up an event And then in the start event, it will be a parallel event, auto start synchronize. We can put the images in order. For this, you might find it easier to use the text form display mode so you can see, and then you can add each one of the frames with a weight in between each of them and a weight at the end, or you could put the last weight at the top. It doesn't matter. I found that 0.2 seconds is an ideal amount for most animations, but for this one I've put 0.1 instead. You'll notice also that each graphic uses the same display number. This is because each frame in the sequence is recycled with the same one rather than having se several separate ones and then having to delete them in turn. It basically goes through and replaces the current display. It basically replaces the current display number image with the next one and so on. And don't worry about these conditions. These are for triggering, triggering the routines as they become relevant to this tutorial. If the start event trigger is set to 
auto repeat. It'll run in the background but will override all other events including movement. However, when other events are triggered, these in turn override it and the animation suspends until it's re-triggered. Re if it's set to the automatic start and synchronize, it'll run in the background and allow other movements and events to parallel parallelly run parallel to it. Now if it's play tested with the magic spell we can change things around a bit. I've used the variable random so what I'll do off screen or at least off, off the recording screen is change random to the appropriate variable trigger. So now for um, the animation you can see a fire text. It runs quite smoothly in the background even if you move around and it's actually set positionally to follow the player around. Auto run sync as I have mentioned isn't truly parallel because when certain other events such as dialogues or messages are used the animation stops until it's triggered like so. And then once it's re-triggered, it resumes. The next animation Oh dear, hold on a minute. What if I... Okay. Bug alert. Don't you just love it when things like this happen? So I think it was the... Uh, here it is. We need to set the this one to 203 and 103. So it should work again. The next animation is an 8 frame animated fire scene. It's the same setup as before but this time with an added sound effect. You may well have seen that on Facebook. You can add the sound effect right above the first frame and it'll play if it's a short loop. I did something a bit different because this sound effect isn't loopable. So if it's here it'll play the first few seconds only and then go back to the beginning in tandem with all of these, these frames. So what I did was just add the condition in a condition check when the random variable is equals to 2, then it'll play the sound effect, otherwise it'll stop it. And then that way it can run in the background parallel to the animating fire. Incidentally, I got the sound effect from Freesound, but I don't remember who created it. Credit, therefore, goes to them, not me. If it's yours or you know whose it is, please give the link to it in the comments so I can give the proper attribution for it. Since SGB doesn't have a rotating or a, a rotate image function, you can create your own. All I did was create uh, one, two, three, four images for each angle and then created a news article with the free newspaper generator I found. The link to that is below as well for anyone who 
wants to use it. And each one is set to the corresponding angled image zoomed in from 20% in multiples of 10 all the way up to 100 for the last image. Like so. I put a wait zero seconds because that's the fastest and smoothest. So play testing once again. And then with our F5 magic spell, we can put this as that, and you can see it rotates, zooms in, and the article displays. If you want a smoother animation, just create um, images with more angles in between and add them to the sequence. These are very simple, logical methods you can use either at the beginning on your intro map or it can be used in game for something else like special animated effects. Technically you can use this kind of sequence animation for movie cutscenes although I wouldn't recommend any more than 15 frames, 20 at an absolute push. Anything above that will take up a lot of unnecessary space. And that ends another tutorial. In the next one, I'll most likely continue with the crafting system, the nature of which will depend on whether or not it coincides with the next SGB update. In the meantime, if you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe for more videos on SGB and RPG Maker, or you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook and visit my SGB and MV subsites. All of the links are below. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Until the next time.